Aloha, Hi Vibe Tribe. It is Pink Bella, and I'm recording this update for all of us today on June 6, the 6 6 portal. So, welcome back, all star seeds, lightworkers, amp house, 144,000. I have so much information to bring in, but I'm also going to pull some cards for us. <laughs> I'm going to pull some cards for us because I want to see sort of what the priorities are, what um, the team wishes for me to bring in. Source Universal Energy. So, I'm going to call on Source Universal Energy. Uh, my star councils of light that I work with. Um, Arcturians want to come in today, Arcturian team of light, and the Lyran council of light. And we have a lot of galactic alignments as well. All right. So my higher self, I am a liaison. So I will be bringing uh, the most important information for us right now. For Thank you, everyone, for being here, for liking, subscribing, thumbs up on this video, sharing it out to whoever, whatever groups, wherever wherever you can. Um, for those of you who would like to go deeper into information, check out my social media links in the description box below as well because I have a Telegram channel and a Rumble channel and that's how, where I'll be able to update and get into topics a little more deeply. But today I want to talk to all of us and bring in information. So it's the 6-6 portal. So happy 6-6 portal blessings. This is an opportunity for all of us to unify our hearts, keep our hearts open. Venus has just moved into Leo. Our lion, our galactic Lyran aspects are coming on full strength now as we prepare for the 8-8 Lions Gate. And we just came through an incredibly intense full moon. Um, some of you might still be recovering from that. It was almost as if it needed to bring up any last little bits from our eclipse season to heal and clear. We're finally, Mercury is out of shadow period. So it's full on steam ahead. So the six, six portal is about balancing all the energies. And again, if any triggers come up, if anything comes up at this time, it's to allow you to to clear it, to heal it, to um, release it once and for all. We don't know what's there unless something gets triggered. Could be by a group of people, could be by someone in our lives, could be by our jobs, um, all sorts of things, okay? All right, so as star seeds, as light workers, as 144,000, we are needed more than ever. And I know people have been making comments, if I miss out something, um, if you would like me to look into other things, you know, say where you're from below, let everybody know how you're doing, say hi to the high vibe tribe. And also, you know, is there something else that you would like me to dig into? If it's something that can't be here on YouTube, I will create a deep dive um, video, look into different topics up for rumble as well. Okay. All right. So today we are in the Gemini energy and we will be in the twin air Gemini energy until the solstice, the solstice gateway will open around the 17th. We're really close to it now. We're on the 17th of, um, of June and it will go through to the 23rd with the peak of it being the 20th, 21st and 22nd It's where we all here in the Northern hemisphere go into summer and you in the Southern Hemisphere going into winter. So it's a very powerful alignment, all right? And every every alignment, every gateway since I've been doing these updates, which has been for years now, I get more information. I learn more as well, so it's fascinating to me. So what the guides and the councils have been sharing with me is that I'm to help as many of you as possible get up and running and align with the, the powerful gateways. So. So right now, the 6-6 portal is like the beginning of our accelerated journey and alignment with the solstice this month. And at the beginning of July, it won't be much longer after that. The 7-7 gateway is connected to the Sirius uh, constellations. And the Sirius, the Sirius uh, star constellation teams of light have always worked with all of us through multiple lifetimes as a very sacred time from there through the Lionsgate. And then um, there'll be, of course, the Lionsgate will be ultra powerful, lots of downloads, lots of integrations, lots of activations, lots of solar flares. And then we'll be recovering after that, grouping back together, um, and then getting ready to sort of launch new things in September, okay? So, yeah, so the 6-6 portal as well, and, and this is a heads up for all of you. These portals have in the past, and especially in the past few years, to delay our game, to throw us off, have been um, in a way attempts to kind of hijack 
the energy, that's when it's like shields up. Be aware we are observers. We're constantly observing many timelines that maybe we're not involved in, but we'll be presented with things. So that's the first thing. This portal in general, this time last year, I was brought, brought in so much information and I started sharing about the J seals and the quantum advanced uh, J seals came a few months later, a few months later, because um, that too blocks many of us from accelerating and receiving um, our gifts and our, our guidance for our mission. If you found me, you're here. Uh, whenever this fit, this all my messages are timeless. You are, you do have a mission. You do have a life purpose, and you are here to first off, you know, of course, work and make sure that your avatar, your physical body, that you are aligned and you are well. The next step up is to do our work, our prayers and intentions and our light work um, with our local collective. And for some of us, we're doing global work as well. So this portal really is a preparation for the, um, the solstice alignment. It's getting us going. However, it also in the past has been hijacked. The numbers have been hijacked. But so we are recoding everything. We're recoding anything that's been hijacked. We're taking it back. That's part of what we agreed to when we incarnated was there's a lot of darkness still on this planet. So we're going to heal ourselves. We're going to clear our ancestral lineage and we're going to recode and take everything back for our, for ourselves, for humanity, for the collective, for the planet. Okay. That's how we're rebuilding. Uh, some of us are also doing grid work. So uh, thank you for the beautiful soul who mentioned about Arizona. There's pockets everywhere. There's pockets where I am. We are to be diligent about using tools like the violet flame to transmute not only our enclosed space and our physical avatars, but our areas as well. The grids in our areas, you know, our, our towns, our cities. Uh, we are allowed to do that. What we do is we just check in and I assist many of you, if, you know, if you come, you're coming for sessions, if you booked and you would like to know more about that, then just ask me and we'll dive into what you can do in your local area as well. Okay. So there's that. Um, so that's super important. There are going to be more and more. It's going to, as more light is shining through us and on the planet, we're going to see, we're going to observe more craziness out there. We're going to see things that are falling apart. I had a divine assignment. A couple of them brought to me yesterday. I was out doing grid work in my local neighborhood. And I looked around at everybody else in the area. No one noticed what was going on. So I knew it was for me. And it did upset me because it had to do with the, a lot of the young people, uh, beautiful souls that are in their teen years that are lost. Maybe their parents are lost. And they're trying to find their way, but not in positive ways. So I've seen that in the last, since before the full moon, I've seen a couple of groups uh, like falling apart, fighting, uh, all sorts of things, getting into sh getting into stuff, right? They have no idea. So I wasn't able to personally intervene because I knew that that wasn't the way to go. I did, however, set the intention and say a prayer to the creator and ask the universe to um, intervene on behalf of all the souls because one particular soul was being bullied, attacked, um, and I could see that she had like, and I also could see that all the other adults that were walking around that maybe they couldn't see it. Like I could see it and I could see the energy, the group energy of everyone that was sort of around her was not good. It was not positive. So they, things were working through them to play the game. So we have to be diligent. Their team D is working in and around people. We know people we don't know. So I, um, ramped up the light. I wrapped a light around the beautiful soul that was in trouble and I just asked the universe to intervene and take care of everybody. So I did see the separation of the group a little while, a little bit after that, and that girl was gone. So that's good. And hopefully she will maybe not hang out with them anymore. You know, that kind of thing. So those are the kind of things that we are like the earth angels that are allowed to intervene, but we just have to find the right channels to do it. Okay. All right. That's, that's one of like just a little sample. So we all have pockets, towns, cities, wherever we are. We might all be living in a good neighborhood, but maybe we have a city near us that's not good. Our assignment that we're conscious and awake 
you can use the violet flame and you can you can create a little grid the name of that city put a crystal on it and send light to it every day and help to raise the vibration okay because we're also helping the collective consciousness um awaken to another level as well all right perfect next message that i want to talk about oh i forgot <laughs> it's gonna bring a show and tell uh next message i want to talk about is ascension symptoms so we are going to continuously have different ascension symptoms all the way along because our physical bodies are going through an evolution. And I check out the last video. I talked about that. I talked about moving into gamma frequency or plasma frequency or crystalline frequency. And through that process, our physical body has to adapt to the new frequency. So let's say you're listening to bi binaural beats. 396 hertz then suddenly now you now you need to listen to 528 hertz that that's as a, a parallel so that's what our bodies are trying to do so i don't often share all the symptoms because we're all at a different level now we're going to be experiencing different things however a beautiful soul popped into the telegram chat and said this is what i'm experiencing thank you for doing that because it reminded me oh yes that's what i noticed i noticed this time last summer so some of the symptoms besides, you know, the headaches besides, and our third eye, our whole upper crown area is getting such an expansion right now because that's, all, and that's going to be continuous. So I've had been experiencing headaches off and on since the full moon. Um, so a couple things came in first off. And, and before I do that, I'm going to have a sip of my green tea. Perfect. Okay. So first off is hydration water right now is not enough water unto its own even with blessing it with different affirmations it's not enough it's like our cells are going at such a high frequency and they're going to get faster and faster and faster so we're vibrating at a different frequency um just drinking water on its own is not enough so you need extra hydration there's a couple of ways you can approach that use your pendulum muscle test whatever your intuition tells you um, you can either add a little bit of salt to your water, sea salt, Himalayan salt. You can also put a granule of salt on your tongue and let it dissolve. And that will open up the cells automatically. Then you can drink the water and that your, your, your body will hydrate, um, more efficiently. Okay. The other thing you can do is you can buy an electrolyte mix that's and look for one that doesn't have any sugars and stuff in it, like in a powder. You can also add that, or um, there's also the fizzy tablets. You can also add that to your water and put it in your water bottle as well. I think with the fizzy tablets, even though it says you can to use the whole thing, I would just use half them and just like dissolve it in water and then put it in your bottle. Okay. So you want, we want to be giving our body electrolytes that it's not, getting and okay so let's say as an example i had a beautiful soul come to me just at the off the doctor's office and they said this this and this and your electrolytes okay we have to realize whatever they even give us is not high enough it's like as an example the vitamin d they've always the, the levels of vitamin d is still super low from their perspective so we use whatever um, insights they give us and then we dig, go deeper within and ask our body what it wants. Okay, so that's that's the first thing. So hydration right now is super, super important. It's going to get more important as we head towards the lion's gate. There's my little lion. <laughs> Second thing is dry skin and rashes. Yes, it's almost as if like a snake were shedding our skin. So again, that's a symbolism of dry skin i need one need more hydration and not just topical internal the other thing besides water is some type of oil so topically using something like an organic virgin olive oil even putting some of that in your smoothie that's just an example um as much as the whole idea of coconut oil was a fad even with me for a long time it seemed to work for a long time it's not working now i've switched back to organic olive oil, but you might be using flax oil, you might be, you know, uh, you might be using some some type of omega with, um, with like fish oil, that type of thing. So just know our bodies are craving hydration, and they're craving these oils as well. All right. Uh, rashes can be multiple things. First off, on a, an ascension level, our crystalline 
is being activated. So the rashes will appear when our, our uh, physiology is changing. But the rashes are also a symptom of detoxing, of detoxification of toxins. And for a deeper look at what's going on with the toxins, check out my Rumble channel for um, the little deep dive that I did um, about a, a week or two ago about the toxins in our food and our water. Okay. So detoxing is, is part of the game. Now we've heard about this for years. Like even when I was on my journey, which started with my health, it, it was potentially because my body was detoxing. So as an example, as a child, I was, I, and this is when I researched later as a child, I started reacting to foods. It wasn't until I turned 16 and I went to my first naturopath that that person went back and said in this year, this happened. So when I was a child, certain things were being sprayed on foods and I was reacting. We are ultra sensitive. We are that our sensitivity is one of our superpowers. So our body is going to be the first thing to react to. I need something more. This is happening. Okay. So this time last year, I was uh, in, I, in my face was the technology that had been ramped up that was impacting us all. That's still ongoing. But besides the technology, now there are additions to the food, the water, um, and uh, stuff being sprayed in the air, et cetera. That's been ramped up. So, but, uh, and we have all the, the technology waves as well, okay, the frequencies. So we have multiple things going on in our body's going to pop up with different rashes, letting us know that it's detoxing as well. So I was going to bring in a show and tell. So I have been taking a supplement, uh, NAC, for almost two years now. Now, instead of, you know, in this time last year, I was recommending it as a detox. Now it's more like the more people that have done more research, you go do your own research. Uh, lots of doctors have talked about it online. Um, and again, muscle test or pendulum to check in with your body to see if that's what it wants. There's an ultra powerful antioxidant detoxer that helps to detox many of our organs, our cells and brain health as well. So it's not like, how long should I be taking this for? Now it's flipped into, this is such a good thing to be taking on a daily basis. Okay, that's where we're at now. We're into what can I intake? What can I add to my regular routine to optimize this physical body, what does this body need now? Okay, so I've been adding, I've been researching, and I'll be bringing more in about that. I've been researching more things that work together um, that I'll be assisting all of you with as well. Okay, and let's get into the galactic information. So <clears throat> we're not only in like a powerful gateway in general. Let me just hold on. We also have a lot of star galactic alignments this month as well. So this is so fascinating to me. So for those of you who don't know, I when I started talking about being a star seed, I started talking being about being a Blu-ray star seed. There's a whole Blu-ray star seed playlist on my channel, but also there's a my star seed Blu-ray journey, my Blu-ray journey, okay? Because that got activated being a twin flame. That's how I remembered about being a Blu-ray, all right? So um now, this is fascinating to me because, again, we're all bringing in more information every year. So this is information by the Starseed Sanctuary. So this month alone, we have an Orion alignment. We have an alignment um, in the next few days called the Nahal Blu-ray Indigo alignment with um, a couple constellations that I'm going to do more research about the Nahal and the, the uh, Lepus constellation. Then we also have a uh, Polarian alignment with uh, with the Pole North and the North Star Polaris, and that's very much around the Solstice Gateway. That's the 19th and the 20th. So that's fascinating to me. So already the Blu-ray Indigo alignment is starting now, and it will be it will continue right through um, right through the Solstice. Okay. I also wanted to talk about, she got a little bit into the asteroids. Now I had my chart done a number of years ago. The majority of us, when I bring in that you had lifetimes in Atlantis, you also have the Atlantean um, asteroid in your chart. Okay, so one of the key uh, asteroids 
at this time that's already that we're already um, it's conjunct with the Nahal and the Blu-ray Indigo activation is the Atlantis asteroid. Wow. <laughs> that's mind blowing. And that's amazing. So that's happening right now as well. And the sun is also going to be conjunct the asteroid Atlantis from the 19th to the 20th as well, which is again through the solstice gateway. So we have multiple things going on. Venus is going to be conjunct the Pleiades, like all different asteroids and things. And I'll look at that into that a little bit more deeply for the next update through this month. So talk about confirmation about what a very powerful, powerful month this is for us as starseeds and light workers. And what are the activations to elevate us to be part of new earth to align us with our soul mission? And it's going to be huge. This is a huge, huge time for all of us. Okay, I'm going to start to pull some cards. And while I'm doing this, I've already blessed them, but while I'm doing this, if any of you would like to book, there are uh, bundles and sessions on right now for the gateways. So uh, they brought me in something called a quantum alignment session. And there's either individual sessions or there's a bundle for the solstice, for the 7-7 gate and for the lion's gate. So you can check that out. Uh, how to contact me, email is the best way. My website is also below. And that's on right now. So yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you everybody who's booked already. Okay, oh, and those sessions are Zoom or distance. And there's a whole bunch of other, um, there's a Star C Blu-ray package to help you align with your mission and all sorts of wonderful things. So yes, I look forward to connecting with you. There, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, there's been massive solar flares that are going to get stronger as we head towards the solstice as well. Okay. We also have um, our spirit guides are trying to come in and work with us as well as our angels. All right. So this is an opportunity for all of us to align more with our teams at this time. And you might have new teams as well. I definitely know where we're having a massive pituitary pineal gland, like third I am crown chakra activation right now. And I just want to see if there's any, anything else. So it's the Holy Grail. So this is inner discovery, finding sacredness. You are what you seek. So just a reminder that we are, we are the Holy Grail and that we are, this is a sacred time for us, especially from the seven, seven gateway through Lionsgate. This is a sacred journey that we've all done multiple times. Like when we had lifetimes in Atlantis and Egypt, that month was incredibly sacred. We do a sacred ceremonies uh, every day, lighting a candle, uh, going within, setting intentions, healing. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Palladians. We're going Palladian. Palladians are assisting us. That's yeah, that's interesting. I feel like the Palladians are really helping us this month. And then the Sirius constellation will take over at the beginning of September, and then we'll have the Arcturians and the Lyrans will start to come in as well, right? So we've got the Palladians, just um, confirmation, coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolutions are coming for many of you if you're still trying to figure things out. Okay, I'm going to pull some more cards. These are Light Stars decks. And just pull a couple more messages for us all. No, yo, oh, I love it. Number 32, recalibration. So that's what the, this week right now, the six portal and, until I do the next reading, we're all going through like a recalibration, rebooting. Ah, and let's pull another card from this deck and see. Yep, confirmation. Third eye activation, okay, there it is. So that's, um, that's our superpowers, intuition, focus. And when it's blocked, there's confusion. Yeah, when the third eye is blocked, there's confusion. Okay, um, as for sort of any deep dives about what's happening out there right now, multiple things. So that's what I'll be sharing more in Telegram and 
Um, I'll let you all know when my next deep dive is. That's when, um, make sure you subscribe to my community channel here on YouTube because that's where I do lots of updates and say that I've uh, posted something on Telegram or just join my Telegram channel as well. All right, I'm going to pull some tarot cards. I want to see if there's anything else. And I haven't, I didn't uh, pull a message from a dragon for a while, so I'll do that shortly. Okay. Oh, I love this. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords, Triumph and Success. So Team Light, we're on it. Okay, we're on it. By the way, our work is cut out for us. And that's why a lot of us, like myself, are still doing this work to get us all together to continuously do this on a daily basis to be vigilant. All right. So first off, so I love this. Triumph and success is the overall message. Completing. Fulfillment of wishes. This is the nine of cups. Fulfillment of wishes. Making sure you're setting intentions and you're, you're being aligned with that timeline every single day, but you're also completing a cycle and you're moving into the next cycle. I love it. Positive movement forward. Eight. Okay. So we've got triumph and success. Positive movement forward. There's the confirmation about the crown chakra. Um, so our third eye crown. And the ultimate are getting absolutely ramped up. Okay. I heard once awake, always awake. Let's see if there's, I just want to pull some clarifiers. Oh, I love it. So with the fulfillment of wishes, nine of cups, we've got the higher, hierophant, hierophant, which is, uh, for me, this is our higher self. So we have been integrating and activating and embodying another version of our higher self. So that's what, um, and make sure you're sleeping. Sleeping is where we clear multiple timelines and we're integrating all sorts of information um, that we can't do when we're awake. All right. Positive movement forward. I love it. Celebration. we got the Ten of Pentacles. So lots of blessings and abundance and prosperity for all of us. And the more we share, the more we uh, give the more you receive. All right. Let's see what's going on with the crown chakra. If there's anything around this. Oh, limbo land. So some of you have been, are still in the waiting room and it's because your crown chakra is activating. So you're being guided to sleep. You're being guided to meditate. You're being guided to go within and slow down. All right. And whatever, let's see the overall, my kitty's on the move. Triumph and success. Oh, this is still, <clears throat> okay, so this is the five of pentacles. This is like I'm left out in the cold. I've been abandoned. You haven't. That's what you're healing and clearing, all right? That's what you're healing and clearing, and you will be, try, you will be successful to clear that. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. It's been an imprint. It's been a story that's been embedded for ourselves, our bloodlines, our ancestors for multiple lifetimes. I love it. Don't forget to six of cups. This is the final one. Don't forget to stop and smell the roses. Oh, give yourself permission to spend time in nature because that's another program that's been um, given to us that is not true. <laughs> There's been a lot of those. There's been a lot of those. That's why we're, we are investigators. We are investigators. So I'm going to, okay. Just wanted to shuffle these cards, but I think before I, I see which dragon and unicorn and crystal, I'm going to just pull a chakra from a, my chakra decks and um, just see if there's anything specific that wants to come. Whoa! That was the third eye with the infinity symbol. It's way over there, though. So, but there's a confirmation for our third eye. And I love it. Our high heart activation, the beloved, the unicorn. So magic, miracles, blessings, right? And a reminder that you are the beloved, okay? You are so, and this area is healing and activating and clearing. So whatever is still blocking this, which was part of, okay, so every, as an example, everything I watched yesterday, it hurt my heart to see what was happening. But I also, after the fact, realized it wasn't an accident. I was there to help to assist, even if it was energetically. And then the other thing is, is that I felt this energy leave. It was old energy, okay, from other timelines, other lifetimes, where the, I, I had seen that before and maybe felt helpless. And we have the heart energy coming in and abundance. And you're, you know, so, so all of this healing and clearing is leading to individual and collective abundance, right? 
Okay. Let's final message. Orange gold dragon from Arcturus. There's the Arcturians. It's a powerful dragon to work with as well. So this is like opens you to knowledge. So this dragon can help and assist you with your downloads. It's helping you bring in and channel information, ideas, inspiration for new earth, how to make everything better. Um, you're all carrying the energy of the future and the golden age. And you're, we're all to be a guiding light right now. What a beautiful dragon. I love that. Okay, thank you, dragons. Let's see what unicorn wants to come in. Magic, amazing magic. Okay, so make a wish, believe in miracles, magic. See the magic all around you. Observe what's going on, but see what's magical in your life and in your day. There's magic for everybody. Right, and then finally, Crystal, it can help us at this time. Fuchsite or any sort of green green stone right now will help. Okay. This one is specific. Look at that. There's a hand. So some of your hand chakras might be opening, but also it's for the heart chakra, healing the heart chakra number 17. Fuchsite. But I would also, um, any green stone, malachite, green aventurine, um, whatever, jade, whatever speaks to you. Thank you all so, so much. Look forward to coming back. And don't forget if you would like um, some assistance and some activations through the gateway, that, that would be the quantum alignment um, bundle and sessions. They're at the top of my website. That They're also, they'll be individual for all of you for each gateway. And if you're experiencing a lot of ascension symptoms or whatever's going on, you will receive specific messages to help you through the gateways or after the gateways. All right. Love and aloha, everyone. Happy 6-6 portal. I'll be back soon with another update. Take care.